Hi guys and welcome to a new Far Cry 3 gameplay video. <coughs> this time I'm not gonna play a mission, but as promised, uh, I've read a lot of comments in the other videos saying hey do some free roaming gameplay, just drive around the island and do stuff. I'm gonna do this uh, this video. So um, I've just indicated a radio tower on my oh I've just indicated the radio tower on my map and I just decided to drive over there to um, climb it and reveal the area on the map. As you can see on my mini map at the bottom left there you don't see any roads or other um, animals or plants indicated on that map that's because that scrambler on the top of that radio tower is still working and is scrambling my <coughs> my mini map so when i climb to the top and destroy it the map will be revealed and also some uh, specific parts around the tower mm, left, right Right. But as you can see on the map, I don't see any roads, so I need to get that tower. Road kill. <laughs> School buggy. So there's a radio tower with the zip lines that you can slide off in different directions. Sometimes there are s uh, guards next to the tower or around. Oh, no. Uh, there they are. And they died. I always loot bodies. It's become a habit. Let's climb the tower. So in, in at the beginning they were quite easy. Just climb the stairs, do a small jump and climb a ladder and there you were. But when you get farther into the game, um, the towers get more difficult and you have to really look where to go so you need to do a lot more climbing and jumping like this one but uh, everywhere where you see some ropes hanging from a ledge you can jump or climb that part so Let's see, let's see, I came this way, no ropes, hmm, where do we go next, I just jump this part, quite tricky, oh, okay, <laughs> uh, that's the way, let's jump, let's climb, <laughs> Look at the beautiful island. Those black smoke is uh, are still some enemy camps that I need to uh, enemy outposts that I need to uh, assault and capture. Only a few left on this uh, northern island, and then uh, I have completed the entire northern island and all the missions. And we're at the top. So that is not very easy, but it's not that difficult either. So again, I'm only halfway through the game. I should think that other towers that are on the other island will be more difficult, I guess. Some import 
certain areas around the tower. I don't always visit them because I think it's just relic hunting or something like that. I don't do really do that. Um, so that outpost is over there. I could go there or I could do something else um, like some hunting. Um, let's yeah, let's do some hunting. Oh, I see some animals there. And I have equipped my bow for some silent hunting. Oops. Oops. I'm not. I'm still getting used to the bow. And uh, in a minute I'll show you what you can do, of course, with all those heights. Got that one. So it's always a good idea to indicate uh, to uh, indicate them with your um, binoculars or your weapon, so you can always find them when they run away. Like in this is quite open area, but in dense jungle environments. We just lose every animal I when they run away, so another one. And they're too far away, but well, let's just shoot one. Oh well. Oh, so my normal arrows are... I only got a couple of arrows, but I also got some... Oh. Explosive arrows that you and I'm equipping now with a grenade tip. This is a normal arrow But those explosive arrows are quite fun. I'll, ex I'll demonstrate one uh, after this So there's an explosive arrow If I can find Something to shoot at. Bam. <laughs> so, that way <laughs> you can get an entire pack of uh, boars with a single shot. I think I've almost got enough skins, um, like like oh. ten or one, I think. Um, I need to craft some one or two items uh, that I need or can use. Not really need, perhaps, but that I can craft with boar skins. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let's see, yeah, crafting. Um, I need shark skins for another holster. Mm. Dingo, leopard, flamethrower. Okay, I have ten hides. Need two. That's enough. Komodo dragons. I have six. Need two. Okay. That's a mission. Um, ammo pouch. Some extra ammunition always comes in handy. Now 
I need to hunt some buffaloes if I need more ammunition pouches. So that's how crafting and hunting actually just works. It's quite simple. You just need to find the right animals who are scattered around the map. Um, when you need... It is, it's not really the idea to <coughs> just run around and skin every animal that you encounter because your rucksack will just uh, get completely filled up. A uh, leopard. I could... I need one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyhow. So I need. I now have two leopard skins. I need. I just need one for something else. But I forgot what it was. Let's see. Syringe kit. Okay. So I need. I can carry more syringes to heal myself or. Um, to be uh, immune to fire or swim larger, l longer times on the water, etc., etc. You can craft a lot of those syringes. You need uh, plants for that. Okay, guys. Um, let's call it uh, a video here, and I'll upload another one for you guys very soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>